today at SciTech, we're going to be exploring ninja science by making smoke escapes. So, what you'll need is some potassium nitrate, also called saltpeter. You can find this at any hardware store. And it's usually going to be by a stump remover. Uh, you can ask an employee. And you need sugar. Now, this is very important. You have to have an adult to make this with you because you don't want to try to do this by yourself. What you're going to do is you're going to take three parts potassium nitrate, so say three tablespoons, to two parts sugar, so two tablespoons of sugar. You're going to put it in a pot, and then you're going to have your mom or dad to cook it over the stove over medium-high heat. Now, it's going to take probably 15 minutes, and the sugar is going to caramelize, and then you're going to pour it out onto some wax paper, and let it cool down. So don't try to touch it. You can use a spatula to spread it around. Now when it's done, it's going to look something like this. We use pellets as our potassium nitrate. You can find it in a powder form and it'll look like peanut butter and it'll look really cool. But you don't really want to eat it. It's non-toxic though, so if you do eat it, then you're safe. Now an optional step to our smoke escapes is to add a fuse. Our fuses are made out of yarn soaked in isopropyl alcohol. Now at home, you can get some 91% isopropyl alcohol, and you can pour it into a cup, and then you can put bits of yarn about three to four inches in length, and you can soak them in there for about one to two minutes. And then you take them out, and you let them air dry for a few minutes. They dry pretty quickly because alcohol evaporates. Now, you put them in when your smoke escapes are still pretty warm and pliable, and you can put them in the middle and then you just fold it over and then you wait until they cool down. Now we're gonna go outside and we're gonna see what it looks like when we light it on fire. Okay, what we need to burn our smoke escapes is a cool household uh, lighter. You don't wanna use a small pocket lighter because you don't wanna burn your fingers by accident. Um, so you wanna get your parents and you want them to have to put the smoke escape on the ground. Try not to put it on any grass. Try to put it on a patio or a piece of concrete like we have. And then if you have a fuse, you can light the fuse and that'll give you more time before it starts smoking. But since we didn't use the fuse today, you can just directly light it. And you're going to have to hold the flame close to it until it starts bubbling. Escapes. Thank you for watching and please tune in next week for another awesome video.